Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for day 26 of the Holy Heroes devotional. Speaking of that, today is April 26th, and exactly one year ago today, Avengers Endgame released in theaters nationwide. To commemorate that monumental Marvel movie, I've just released a brand new book titled Endgame, Finding God Among Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This brief book deconstructs the main characters and plot points from Avengers Endgame in an attempt to discover what, if anything, they might reveal about life, faith, and God. If you loved the movie and you'd like to learn something spiritual from it, then consider picking up a copy. It's available on Amazon as a paperback or an ebook, and there's a link in the description below. In the meantime, today's devotional is inspired by the Punisher. Determined to make the world a better place, Frank Castle enlisted in the U.S. Marines and eventually became a Navy SEAL. Completing four tours of duty, Castle received numerous awards for his bravery on the battlefield. And after being honorably discharged, Frank settled into civilian life with his wife Maria, his daughter Lisa, and his son Frank Jr. But during an innocent family picnic in Central Park, tragedy struck and forever changed Frank's life. A mob deal went wrong, and the castles inadvertently witnessed a mafia murder. Careful not to leave any witnesses, the mob gunned down the castle family in cold blood. Miraculously, Frank survived his wounds, but he lost his wife and children. Utilizing his military training, Frank Castle sets out to avenge the deaths of his family. Now acting as judge, jury, and executioner, Frank wages a one-man war against those who have done him wrong, leaving bullet-riddled bodies in his wake. After exacting revenge on those who, who killed his family, Castle then sets his sights on ensuring that every evildoer be punished for his crimes as the vengeful and violent vigilante, the Punisher. Despite his murderous wrath, however, the Punisher is actually a very likable character. You know, we relate to his loss. We understand his thirst for revenge. You know, the desire to get even seems to be woven into the human psyche. Revenge and retaliation are natural instincts. In an unusual story in the Old Testament, however, David shows us another way. David's victory over the hulking Philistine Goliath won him the admiration and affection of everyone in Israel. Everyone, that is, except King Saul. King Saul saw David's valor and victory as a threat to his throne, and so he sought repeatedly to kill David. But when the opportunity arose to pay Saul back for all the harm that he had done, David chose a different path. He showed Saul mercy and spared his life. And then David announces in 1 Samuel chapter 24, verse 12, May the Lord judge between us. Perhaps the Lord will punish you for what you were trying to do to me, but I will never harm you. Rather than take revenge on his enemy, David put the matter into God's hands. We all have, I think, a Saul in our lives. You know, it could be an employer who wrongfully fired you, or a spouse who abandoned you or a mother or father who, who failed you or neglected you, or a friend who betrayed you. Whatever the case, you now live in the backwash of mistreatment. And you've been done wrong, and maybe you're just waiting for your opportunity to get even. Instead, do what David did, and trust God to be the judge. In the 2004 movie, The Punisher, a friend tells Frank, Vaya con Dios, Castle, go with God. And Frank's reply is revealing. He says, 
God's going to sit this one out. That's what happens when we take revenge. Payback removes God from the equation. But the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 19, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. God occupies the only seat on heaven's supreme court. He wears the robe and he refuses to share the gavel. Only God dispenses perfect punishment. Vengeance is his job. So rather than punishing the people who cause you pain, leave your enemies in God's hands and let him be the punisher. Let's pray together. Lord God, I confess that the desire to get even or seek revenge is a temptation. Help me to follow in David's example and trust you to punish evil rather than taking it upon myself. Thank you for being the perfect and righteous judge. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me for today's devotional. And as always, if you're enjoying this devotional series, please consider checking out my book, The Holy Heroes Devotional. Uh, which you can also find on Amazon. There's a link for that in the description below. In the meantime, God bless and be a hero.